Today I'm going to be showing you how to hold the yarn if you're new to crocheting. So I'm using a 9mm crochet hook and a super bulky weight 6 yarn. So this is a really bulky thick yarn but you can use whatever yarn or hook that you have. This is a good thing to start out with and you need to do a lot of practice getting used to holding your yarn. So first we'll make a slip knot and put it on our hook. So I just wrap the yarn around two fingers, take my tail and push it up through that loop. Okay, and now let go and just pull that tight. Now you can pause and go over that if you need to until you get a slip knot right. And then you just pull your tails and tighten it up. Now you need to know how to hold the yarn because you need to have tension okay to pull through so people hold the yarn many different ways but I'm gonna show you how I do it and how I learned uh, a long time ago from a CD-ROM so I always hold my hand out like this first we're gonna weave the yarn down around our pinky finger so you're coming through down around your pinky then twist it and go up over your ring finger. Okay, so we've gone through, around the pinky, and down on the other side of our middle finger. Then I just turn my hand. So see how nice and tight that is. I don't have a lot of room here. It's nice and tight. If I need more, I can tug it, but it's not gonna come loose. My yarn is not gonna come off my hand. It's gonna be nice and tight. Because what you want is that nice tight area here. So I like to hold the yarn up with my middle finger and I like to hold my work with my index and my thumb. I just find this is comfortable. This is how I learn. Now if you hold it this way, holding it with your middle and your thumb, that is fine too. Okay, so whatever you find to be most comfortable, um, for me, I like to work this way, okay? But I know most people I see like to hold this finger up. So really just figure out what you find to be most comfortable because you want to be comfortable when you're crocheting, okay? And you want it to come naturally. People also hold the hook different ways. There's the pencil grip, okay? There's like you're holding a pencil and then I like to hold it like I'm holding a knife and cutting, okay? So you want to get comfortable with how it feels good for you to hold your hook. I like it this way, you know, it's it's really like find a comfortable position because you're gonna be doing, if you get hooked on crochet, like a lot of us do, you're gonna be doing a lot of crocheting. So now what you're doing when you're chaining is you're just grabbing the yarn and pulling it through the loop on your hook, okay? So see why we need tension? If that's all loose, it's really hard to pull. And then I like to keep holding my work with my index and my thumb, pulling it through the loop on my hook. Because I've wrapped this yarn around my fingers, it's keeping my yarn secure. I'm quite comfortable holding my hook this way in my hand. And as I'm chaining, I'm moving my fingers up along that chain. See that? I'm comfortable with my grip. I'm comfortable holding the chain. And I'm comfortable just lifting my fingers up to grab that yarn and pull it through. And I kind of just maneuver with my fingers here as I need more yarn. I'm just kind of fiddling with them and just allowing that yarn to pull through as I go. 
making that chain. So again, if you're finding, oh no, I feel much more comfortable with this sort of grip, you know, however you find that you feel that's good, that you can move your hook around, that you're feeling good and comfortable, and that you're feeling good and comfortable here. And if this is more comfortable for you, I just find that I lose a little bit more control. I don't know. For me, I just feel I don't have the same control. I really like the close grip here that I have and my fingers up like that. It just, for me, it's really comfortable. So play around with that. Go back to the video. See how I'm so used to wrapping my finger now. I just, I do it so quickly. I don't hardly think about it. But go back and rewatch the video a few times. See, see how I wrap this yarn. See how I turn my hand. See how I hold. See how that's nice and tight and firm. And it's really easy for me to maneuver whoops, my hook through and just grabbing that yarn and pulling it through. So once you get the hang of holding your yarn and chaining, we can go anywhere from there. I can show you so many stitches so many things you're gonna learn to do through watching my tutorials, but this is key. You wanna get comfortable holding your yarn. You wanna get comfortable with your grip. You want it to be easy on your hands because I know for myself, I crochet a lot and the technique I have is not hard on my hands. I'm really comfortable. I can crochet for long periods of time and my hands not be bothered. Okay, so practice with this get this down and then when you're content and you're happy and you feel like your chains are nice and consistent you're keeping them fairly loose not too tight if they get too tight it's hard to work into them once you're really comfortable with chaining and holding that yarn then we're going to move on and start learning the stitches and i'm going to have quite a few videos coming out daily showing you how to do your basic stitches, so single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and treble crochet. And I'll explain all of those and then how to begin them with a chain like this. But then I'm also going to show you how to begin them with a foundation chain and the stitch all in one. And I will explain that in the videos and how they look different. But it's important to know how to do both methods. So I'm starting you out from the basics and we're gonna work through right up to increasing, decreasing, changing color, all kinds of fun things. But the start to learning to crochet is this right here. This is key. Learn how to hold your yarn, learn how to be comfortable. And then from there we can learn anything. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you'll follow along with my Learn to Crochet series and please subscribe so that you're updated when each new video comes out. Go to the blog if you want to see how the stitches are wrote out. If you want to learn how to read patterns and improve your skills, you want to follow along with my YouTube channel and the blog. Thanks so much guys and have an awesome day.